U.S. ultimatum comes to an end tonight, yet separatist leader Raul Escobedo still shows no sign of compliance with it. The Mexican army, under-equipped and already trounced once by the separatists, is in no shape to bring the secession of the Republica de Nueva California to an end. All indications are that it will be up to the U.S. task force gathered on the border to put an end to what Washington refers to as a rogue state in northern Mexico. U.S. forces under the command of General James Whittle, the hero of Isfahan, are building up in the anticipation of an attack order. U.S. troops are entering the RNC as we speak. We're running out of time. One of our Korax drones just spotted the target evacuating Mexicali in a convoy. Zhang Yao is trying to blend into the stream of refugees fleeing the city. It's been six years since the U.N. delivered an international warrant, and it's the first time we've really had a chance to catch her. This operation can't be officially sanctioned by the Security Council, Colonel. Therefore... I know the drill. No personal effects or identity papers. The UN can't be linked to this intervention. You've got the green light. Permission to engage any hostile resisting arrest. Whatever you want. Hostile type. On our way. Finally, some action. On our way. On our way. Suspect located, Zhang Yao, about 500 meters north of your position. Yao is being exfiltrated. Someone's boarding with her. I might have facial recognition. They're getting away. We're too late. Proceed to Yao's car, Colonel. She might have left some clues behind. Combat formation. On our way. Car is secured. Send in the scientific team. There are the remains of a laptop. Yao must have tried to get rid of it before the cavalry arrived. <laughs> 